Before he left, he wanted to talk to the whole D line, and I spoke to him personally. So he basically he told us how you know since the decision was going to be hard for him, and he's going to try to move on. I'm saying and leave Penn State behind. And we told him personally. I told him that whatever he does, you know, what I'm saying I appreciate everything that he ever done for me from the start. You know what I'm saying Coach Jay was an inspiration in my life, and whatever he does, I'm always going to root for the best. I always going to want him to do the best, just like he wants me. He wants me to do the best. So this happened before he had decided. It sounds like. Uh, it was it was the same day because he came and spoke to us okay. uh, as, a, as a D line group. Then, as the process was going on, basically he decided. After uh, having to deal with losing your head coach, how difficult is it to lose your position coach too? Because I know he means a lot to you guys. Oh uh, yeah, he does mean a lot. Since I've been here, you know, so I've been through three head coaches and I always had the same uh, position coach right. with Coach Jay leaving. It was it was a little tough for me, but. In this life, you know what I'm saying? It's one, is a business, and two, you gotta do what's best for you. And basically, you know, whatever he whatever he decided to, to do, wherever he decides to go, you know what I'm always gonna wish him the best. Did that catch you by surprise, though? Him leaving, or did you guys sort of get a sense that he was thinking about it? Uh, it caught me by surprise a little bit, but, but like, you know what I'm saying? He had he did what was best for him. That's, at the end of the day, that's really what matters. And you guys move past this how now as a, as a unit? As a uh, just. Just going back to work, you know what I'm saying? Going back to work. We've been, Penn State as a, as a family and the Lama, we've been through a lot of stuff, and all we know best is go back to work. How anxious are you to get your new position coach in here so you know who it is and you know what they're about and get to talk to them and, again, part of that process of moving forward? Oh, I, I can't wait. You know, so I can't wait. I'm ready to go to work. Can't wait to see what it's like, what his philosophies are. I can't wait. Has Coach Franklin reached out to you at all or the, the defensive lineman kind of as a whole knowing that Losing your position coach would be kind of tough. Uh, we haven't really got a chance to speak with coach like that. He spoke to us one time as a right. whole unit, and we most likely we might talk to him today. So we just waiting and see. What have you guys said amongst each other that you could tell us? I'm not the you know secrets or anything, but but in terms of dealing with the situation, how have you guys kind of handled it as a group? Uh, just you know, everybody felt the same. You know, what I'm saying wishing Coach Jay the best. I know besides the freshmen that just came in, they haven't really got a chance to spend that much time with Coach yeah. Jay. But everybody else understand that Coach Jay is a great guy, you know what I'm saying? And he had to make a hard decision. And whatever, he, he, by him leaving, we wished him the best. And he wants us to be successful as well.